So you just bought your Xbox Series X and you want to make sure that you can play those buttery smooth 120 FPS games on that console. If that's the case, then make sure you stay tuned to this video where I show you how to set up 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X. Welcome everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to help simplify your gaming experience. Now, before we get started on setting up your Xbox Series X for 120 frames per second, uh, it's not just that easy. There are a couple things that you also need in order to make sure that you really can maximize the power of that new system. And while it is easy just going in and setting those up, we'll get into those in just a minute, but let's go over the few things that you're going to need as well in order to really make all of this come together and really properly give you that 120 frames per second. So the first thing you're going to need now, guys, is a 4K TV. And you're probably like, uh, duh, Wayne, I, of course I know I need a 4K TV. But not all 4K TVs are made equal. So if you already have a 4K TV or if you're looking to possibly buy one here now that you have the new Xbox Series X, guys, you want to make sure that your TV can handle 120 megahertz refresh rate or 120 frames per second. Uh, so the megahertz refresh rate is going to be what TVs are usually going to use in that language. So if it has 120, you're good to go guys. But if your TV doesn't have the 120 megahertz refresh rate, then you're not going to actually be able to maximize the refresh rate coming out of the Xbox Series X. So that's the first thing that you need. The next thing you're going to need is to make sure that your TV has an HDMI 2.1, not a 2.0, a 2.1 HDMI input. And that's because the new Xbox Series X has upgraded to the 2.1. And while you can use a 2.0 HDMI cable on the Xbox Series X, uh, it's not going to push the, the information out and the power out um, that, the, again, the Series X is capable of doing. Um, again, guys, I'm sorry, I'm not the techie guy. I don't know all the ins and outs about why that is the case. Um, I do just know that uh, you are going to need that cable. Now, the great thing is the Xbox Series X is going to come with that cable, so you don't need to buy one right away, but you are gonna make sure that, that your TV does have the 2.1 inputs on the back of it, and you want at least one of those. Hopefully it has a few more for future proofing, but at least one so that you can plug your new Xbox Series X into it. So now that you have your Xbox and you have your TV with the 120 megahertz refresh rate and you have your 2.1 input source and you have your 2.1 HDMI cable, next thing you need to do is know how to go to the Xbox Series X and make sure you actually turned on all of those proper settings so that you're actually pushing out the information that the TVs and everything need. So let's go ahead and jump into the Xbox Series X where I'll show you the menu options that you'll need to set up in order to get that 120 frames per second. The first thing you want to do is hit your home button and then go over to your settings options and then you're going to start off on general and then down to TV and display options. Now as you can see here on my TV currently I have this set up on the 1080p so the first thing you want to do on display is change that from 1080p to 4k ultra high depth. Now it'll ask you if you want to keep the resolution so yes you want to do that. Now real quick, I do want to point out that I am using my capture card and because of that, it doesn't allow 120 frames per second uh, through that pass through. Um, so when we go back into the menu settings here, it's not going to show you that I have the ability to currently play uh, using 120 frames per second, but uh, we'll jump off of the capture card in a second and I will show you um, how you can make those changes as well. So back in here in the menu, we're going to go then to uh, setup, click on 4K display. So right here is where you'll see whether your TV is set up properly. So as you can see over here under TV resolution, uh, I do have a checkbox for the 4K at 60 Hertz, but my TV doesn't support 4K UHD at 120. And again, that's like I said, that's because I'm using a capture card and so it doesn't have the ability to do that. And so that's why you're seeing that here. So if for some reason your TV doesn't support 120 Hertz, you're going to see that right here, guys. So this is part of why you need to make sure that your TV does actually support 120 Hertz. Next as well, you'll also see down here playing games. Your TV doesn't support 120 Hertz. Games won't display at 120 frames per second. So let's go ahead and jump back out of the capture card. I'm gonna reset this up. And once we get there, I'm gonna show you guys how you can see the difference between the two options if you um, properly have everything set up. Okay guys, so I went ahead and made those switches on the TV, put the Xbox Series back directly into the TV again. So let's go ahead and look at those menu options and make sure that everything is set up properly this time. All right, so we're gonna go back into the menu, go down to our settings, we'll go over to TV and display options, and we've already got the 4K resolution set up. 
right? And you have the different options here, but we're gonna use the 4K UHD. Now, the one thing you wanna double check here as well, is the option, this option did not come up the first time, if you remember, uh, the refresh rate. So we wanna make sure that we are allowing the 120 Hertz refresh rate. We'll let that do its thing. And then we wanna come back over here to setup. And now you can see our TV resolution does support the 120 Hertz and the 4K 20 Hertz requires an ultra high speed HDMI cable, uh, which came included with the Xbox Series X. And we do have that plugged in currently to the Xbox Series X to the TV. And everything else looks to be okay, except for the watching movies, which I don't have the Dolby Vision. Um, so let's go back out here. Now, the last thing you wanna do, you can do some calibrating if you need to, uh, but I believe in advance, we also need to go here and you wanna make sure that you have these checked as well. Um, the allow 50, the 24, the allow low latency mode, allow variable refresh rate, you know, and then all of these are checked as well. All right, guys, so you wanna make sure that all of those options have been selected. And once you've done that, then you should be now set up to do 120 frames per second on your new console. But like I said, guys, it's not just as simple as quickly just plugging everything in and going. Uh, there are a couple things you want to make sure that have been uh, set on the console. Just go in there, double check, make sure they're all there. If it's all there, perfect, you're set, you're ready to go. But don't forget to at least check because uh, you might not actually be playing at 120 frames per second. And guys, wow, it is a fun experience playing at, at 120 frames per second. It is definitely a smoother, process and you can tell the difference when you're playing guys so i hope you really enjoy this when you get it uh if you're not really noticing the difference if you're thinking to yourself wow man this just doesn't look all that wow and it doesn't, i don't really notice a difference make sure you check these settings that's probably why uh, guys I, I really am enjoying it on this console so far from the games that i have played and i hope you will too and if you did use this as an upgrade from the xbox one and you wanted to gift your old one to another family member maybe you still want to keep it uh, somewhere in your house or you want to give it to a friend uh, make sure you check out our video right here where i show you how to set up game sharing on the xbox series x and just a little hint it's the same process on the xbox one as well so guys thank you so much for watching today and i will see you in the next one